Hey guys, this is Budget Tech Dad. Today we're doing another video on Chia. Instead of talking about plotting, we're going to talk about farming today. And uh, one problem with the Chia blockchain application is that it doesn't really give you a warning or a pop-up message saying like there's something wrong with your farm. You just see that green light indicator that says you're farming correctly and it looks like you're farming correctly because you see the, you know, how, however number of your plots are passing the filter but there's more to that and what you need to do is that really check your debug logs um, the reason I'm saying this is because just a few hours ago a release of the newest version of the app came out which is 1.1.3 you should go and update to this app because there's one important thing part of this update which I should point out and it's this line here that says if a proof of space look up takes longer than five seconds we will now log an error at warning level what does this mean it means that if you are using a slow storage device for farming it could go over this five second checkpoint which is like basically the time that it takes to proof read your your plot kind of and there is a um a hard-coded 30 second timeout right so if, if you're going over 30 seconds then you're timing out and you're not really farming it doesn't indicate that anywhere else on the application so you have to look into your debug log but why is it five seconds here so it's five seconds because even if it's under 30 seconds and you don't time out it still really isn't doing a whole lot so if you're going over five seconds you need to check your storage device or you need to check your network and make sure they're not they're not timing out or they're not going over this five second mark so where's the debug log located? So what you need to do is go to your C drive or your operating system drive and go to users, go to the name of your PC. I have it as PC. You go to .chia folder, go to mainnet, go to the log folder, and there's a debug um, text file. So now there's an error message. Before, there's no error message. So you just have to check the amount of time it takes for your proof to to get checked in the network. This is the example of one. So what you see is like found zero proofs and you can see some of the times are like 30, 300 seconds. Some, most of the time it should be under a second, like 0 0.09, point even less than this. So that's what you need to go and check. But before this version came out, there's no error message. So you, you had to manually check this. So when does this go over 30 seconds? The most common thing I've read is so far, uh, people using NAS drives because that seems to be very slow when it comes to farming Chia. So that's what if you're using NAS drives, just make sure that you're not getting this error. And also people are getting creative where they want to use like a cloud storage to farm. And that could also cause a problem because some some cloud services you can you can mount the drive onto your computer. So just check the times here. Uh, right now you should generate a warning message if it's greater than five seconds if you still don't want to update and if you want to use previous versions you need to enable the log so that you can see everything to enable the logs to capture everything what you could do is go to the main app folder go to config and then change this file like sometimes you don't see right click edit if you don't have the edit option what you could do is go to file open and then go to the config folder but you need to enable all files and click on this and then open so this is your config file okay what you need to do is change this to info and then you go to file save and that should be done so that's only you only need to do this if you still want to use the older versions right because now when it's greater than five seconds it will generate a error message when it says warning so you don't have to make this change if you're updating to the newest version other than that i just want to you know point this out to you guys make sure you check your debug log i did have an issue as well where you know some of my plots were not plotting at all because uh for some reason it couldn't find a directory where the plots were but even though it says it was farming with the total amount of plots that i had so just make sure you check your debug logs. I hope this video helps someone. Yeah, good luck farming and I'll see you next time.